When we multiply numbers together to get another number, they are said to be factors of that number. All numbers are factors of larger numbers. 3 is a factor of 6, 9, 12 and so on. A prime number is one that is divisible only by itself and 1. It only ever has two factors. Prime numbers are often used in complex encryption codes. 2 and 3 are both examples of prime factors, factors that are also prime numbers. A factor tree is a tool that breaks down any number into its prime factors. It's a diagram where you find the factors of a number, then the factors of those numbers, until you can't factor any more. Here's one for 48. A multiple of a number is found when you multiply it by a whole number. Examples can be seen in its multiplication table. Multiples go on forever, whereas factors are limited. A good way of remembering the difference between the two is to think of people in a factory. The people going in are factors, the people coming out are multiples. Here's one for the number 10. The lowest common multiple of two numbers is the first number to appear in both their times tables. We can use this to find the lowest common denominator when we add or subtract fractions. The lowest common multiple of 6 and 8 is 24. For the numbers 4 and 7, it's 28. Certain species of cicada use the lowest common multiple to survive. If some species appear at, this, at the same time as others, they would interbreed and be vulnerable to predators. The lowest common multiple of 6 and 7 is 42. These species only appear together once every 42 years. Yes, nature uses maths to help them survive. Let's solve a problem ourselves now. What is the lowest common multiple of 7 and 3? What do you notice about the lowest common multiple of two prime numbers? When you have lists of the factors of two or more numbers, and you find that some appear in more than one list, they are the common factors of those numbers. What are the common factors of these numbers? Yes, 1, 2 and 4. We often take this further and look for the highest common factor, which in this case is 4. The highest common factor is useful for cancelling fractions when you factorise algebraic equations. In the chemical industry, a gas is stored in both a 24 litre and an 18 litre container. To be moved safely, they must be put into new containers of the same size. Can you find the highest common factor that would give us the largest container possible for this? Yes, 6 is the highest common factor. There are 42 litres of gas, 7 containers of 6 litres can be used to move them safely. Can you see where times tables are used here? Here are some questions to finish. Can you spot the prime numbers? Here's one to find the lowest common multiple. Now a highest common factor. And a factor tree problem. Can you think of some more questions on factors or multiples for other students to try?